How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me and welcome back. So today I am going to do a haul video with you guys. If you do like haul videos or you're interested in seeing what I got and purchased, um, then just keep on watching. Okay, and one thing that's not beauty related, but I can't help it. I wanted to share with you guys. I am a huge hockey nut. I do enjoy hockey for a sport and I am a hockey nut. And of course my team is the Pittsburgh Penguins. So we were out shopping and this one store kind of was closing down, I think. I couldn't help myself. I've been wanting to get a purse that represented my team and of course number 87 that's my Crosby and um, so I was super excited to get a purse it was only seven dollars like usually everywhere else it was like twenty thirty dollars to get one and this one was seven dollars so it's cute I thought it was really cute um, just to have for now uh, when hockey season is in or even you know going to the game itself um, which I hope to do again. I've been to a couple games. I've been to a home game and away game. Loved it. Had fun. Yes, I do love my hockey. So if you guys didn't know that, you know it now. And actually, yeah, because I even have my bracelet that has my little penguin. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, some of these things, like I said, are collective. So you will notice that I've gone through them a good bit because um, I have had them for a while. And the one product that I purchased that I've heard so many people talking about was the Garnier Micellar Cleanser Cleansing Water. Now there's the uh, pink tone one and then this one here which is blue, which this one here is more for um, the waterproof makeup. It helps re remove that. I love it. I am definitely repurchasing. So I am in love with that. And then just for the little extra, just in case some things don't get removed properly, um, Sephora, I had the little sample of their uh, oil-free oil -free eye makeup remover. I was in Walmart and I thought, oh, I see Neutrogena had one. And then I see in Walmart's brand, the Equate brand. And this works great. I don't see, I will be honest myself, I don't see a difference between this to Sephora and this one's cheaper. Sephora is like $15, this one's like $3 and something or whatever and I don't see a difference to be honest with you. You know me, I like to go into TJ Maxx and I do find a lot of good stuff in TJ Maxx um, for skincare. I only used this one time. It's very different. I think I would do this more in the morning time. I don't know if I'd do it so much at night, but this is the Spa Original Dead Sea Face Cleanser with Dead Sea Minerals. Um, it's a pretty nice size. You apply a generous amount to a cotton pad, gently smooth onto the face skin and avoiding the eye area. Do not rinse. Um, and then you use daily for ultimate cleansing and hydrating effects. Now, I've only used it once and I didn't have no problems with it. Very different. It's almost like a creamy gel, like a gel. It's, it's, it looks like a moisturizer. But it's like a jelly gel kind of type look. I did get from this company before. This is from the company called Skin Lab. Um, the company called Skin Lab. I did have one of their little pots it was for uh, Lift and Firm uh, eye gel. Loved that stuff. So the Lift and Firm, this is a collagen elastin with vitamin C, is a treatment serum. So I did get this and I actually have to say I'm really liking this a lot. A huge thing that I have noticed a lot on TV uh, for QVC and, that, and then just on YouTube and people talking about it is the Manuka honey, bee venom, and all that kind of stuff. And I was looking for my face masks, the ginseng one. Fortunately, they didn't have that. So these were $6.99. It was a, it's a soothing face mask with New Zealand Manuka honey enriched with hyaluronic acid, collagen, aloe vera, and argan oil. So you get five of these. These are those sheet masks. Really nice. Really liked it. 
Um, this is from the company called Lano Cream or something right there. Really nice. I liked it a lot. And I got a couple other things from that company anyway that has to do with the Manuka Honey, which is the reviving night cream with New Zealand Manuka Honey. This is a night cream. And this is like a gel moisturizer instead of it just being the typical kind of moisturizer. It just, it, it um, melts into your skin and just, it's really nice. And I have to say, since I've been using this, I feel I am noticing a difference and where I'm noticing it is like here, because sometimes I will get these little bumps and stuff there. And um, I don't know, I just, I'm really liking it. I've only tried this once. It is the Bee Venom Face Mask. So this is a face mask. Bee Venom Face Mask. When I did this the first time, I did feel some kind of burning effect or tingling effect. Not sure if that's normal. However, I do know they say that if you are allergic to bees, so if you're allergic to bees, do not get anything with bee venom in it. I definitely could tell you that because they do say if you're allergic to bees, it is not a good thing to do. Now, I have been stung by a bee once. I stepped on one. I was real little. My foot did swell up. I haven't been stung by a bee for ages, so I can't say if I'm still allergic to them or just that was a one-time thing. But I'm going to keep using it and trying it out and see what happens. Lastly, what I go up there, I love these soaps. I just, these are so attractive in their packaging anyway. And if, if you don't like rose scent, you're not going to like it. But this has the best rose scent, the perfect rose scent that I love. That real nice soft rose scent. I love it. Mm, smells good. The next place I went to was Bath and Body Works. I only picked up a few little things. One of the fragrance I got that I thought smelled quite nice is this Hello Beautiful. It's a fragrance mist. And that's what it's called. It's called Hello. Hello Beautiful. There we go. Mmm. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, that smells, see this smells more of a scent that I would definitely go for. I probably might get the whole set. I would get the whole set of this, definitely. This does have more of the florally kind of scent that I would like. The Hello Beautiful uh, body lotion, I did get one of the small size of it. Because the other scent that I kind of took into liking, which apparently this is why, is the Gardenia uh, Fresh Rain. I think this is one of their new scents. So I got the smaller body mist of it. Mm, okay, yes. And this is totally a scent for me. This smells very nice and fresh and just beautiful. Yeah. And since I liked that scent so much, I picked up the Nourishing Hand Cream. So I picked up the Spring the Gardenia um, Spring Rain. Um, I went into Rite Aid. The Rite Aid in that mall seems to get the limited edition stuff, so I can get lucky once in a while. But I did get a couple Wet n Wild um, limited edition. So these, this is the Geometric Highlighter Powder. So these are from the Geometric ones. There was three of them. One was um, a bronzy shade. The other one was just... Um, it had the uh, purples, greens, and whatever. It was more of a lighter shade. This one was the in-between one. This is called De Desert Explorations or something. Right up there. And I only swatched it once, but kind of a little bit disappointed. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm digging these. So I'm going to swirl it all around, but I'm not sure if I'm digging these too much. Um, you can see there is you know, somewhat of a color there, but I mean, obviously it's a highlight, so it's not, um, it might just be a faint uh, highlight. So if you are somebody that isn't into the whole bam, pow in your face kind of a highlight, you might like something like this. This might be something you might like. And this here is the 
the new romantics eyeshadow uh, it's a trio now they are all shimmer so I'm gonna be honest I probably won't use them all together I don't really like doing that too much anymore but holy cow pigmentation on this when I swatched them holy smacker doodle it was insane so here's the more whiter shade Um, here's the crease shade as they consider it, the pink because they do put down what you can use them for and then this eyelid purple oh, I am in love and I do love my purples anyway oh my goodness okay so but I, I like it I'm definitely going to use this purple on the lid I would probably do it with each of them like even maybe just use that as an inner corner kind of a you know shade so I'd seen a video um, some girl was demonstrating using these two I don't even know what beauty or who she was it was like one of them things where you see off to the side um, someone's video and it kind of caught my attention because it said how to make your eyelashes look like false eyelashes like make them look really you know um, so she used these two here which this is the falsies flared mascara from Maybelline and then this is the uh, Colosso volume express also from Maybelline so she used these two together to kind of give herself some falsy looking eyelashes. So I picked up one of these elf smudge pots. I have a whole bunch of them, but they did have some new shades that came out. This one's called Wine Knot, and I don't think I had this one. I don't recall it, but it's a beautiful um, burgundy, burgundy shade, like dark, like purple, red, burgundy shade. There it is there. I guess there it looks more you see some of the purple reflecting there like a plum purple okay from hard candy I have not tried any makeup setting sprays really too much I have my Mario Badescu rose water which I've used sometimes to whatever um, but I don't really have too many makeup sprays setting sprays and I seen this one here from Hard Candy. It's the Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. It's a 12 hour power is what it says. Uh, it says electrolytes energize and hydrate the skin. It's oil free, silicone free and alcohol free. So this is it here. I have used it a couple of times. This will give you a kind of a luminous look. This is probably I'm going to say more for somebody that has normal to dry kind of skin for oily I wouldn't say get this one you'd probably want to get the other one I haven't used this yet but this is the Rimmel good to glow I haven't seen anybody talking about these um, this is a highlighter it's a liquid one it's in zero zero one Notting Hill glow that's what it says Notting Hill glow they're in these like little tubey things it says you can mix it in with your foundation or just put it on as is there so it says you can, like I said you can use it in the there's a peach shade one I thought about getting that one that's probably the, this one I'd probably put more just on the cheeks and probably purchase the peach shade one to try and mix in with my foundation so I did purchase two of the wet n wild new new blushes these are actually new shades but the formula formula is supposed to be new new packaging new formula and all that good stuff this is called fantastic plastic pink so it's like kind of like a barbie pink shade there it is there pretty pink there is some glitter glitter shimmery specks but i i don't know i didn't have no problem when i used it so it didn't seem to settle the other shade that I got was the Rose Champagne. Everybody seems to be talking about the Rose Champagne. It does have a really pretty color to it. Right there it is. I did order on Milani's site 
these two blushes here. I think there's one more shade I need to get. These two came from the very, very first, the very first rose blushes that came out, the very first set, the very first limited edition set. So that's what these are supposed to be, but it doesn't say that on here now. Um, they're on the site. And I was surprised because like, oh my God, I, I, I have collected them all so far. This one's called uh, Bella, Bella Rosa. It's in the fourth one, Bella Rosa. But there it is there. Pretty. And this one's called Warm Petals. I actually wore this the other day and it has some shimmer 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 to it it's really pretty it's like copper kind of shade or something i don't know it's really pretty this is perfect for summer definitely right there blush i picked up was one of the elf blush palettes this is in the light shades um it's that compact that i think Everybody's been talking about it's an awesome blush blush palette to have. You know, you have all these really pretty colors in here. I haven't even swatched them, so this will be all new to me. Woo! For the light shade, but there they are there. So there they are. Again, then for lipsticks, um, this one here, I got one of the CoverGirl O oh Sugar lipsticks. This is in the shade Gumdrop. Um, they do have like that lemony scent and it looks pretty dark, but they are sheer. They're not, this is a good color for me for like um, perfect, almost natural lip color. Maybe just a little hint more darkness to it. They're okay. This is the only one I'm going to get though, because they're just, they're okay for me. It's not something I'm going to go ahead and purchase more colors. Um, the other thing I picked up was one of the Velvet Mousse from Hard Candy. Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color. This one's in Sweet Pea. It was the only one that caught my attention. I don't know. I wasn't feeling the other ones for some reason, but it, I do like the, the Dofa Applicator definitely like it it's pretty there it is there's a really pretty pink so i don't know maybe i might get another shade or two then i picked up one of rimmel's new lipsticks they're shaped like this they're they're newer ones and it's the only one i got right now but i might get some other shades this is number 700 naughty nude this is definitely a nude shade i like and that's what they're calling it, Naughty Nude. There it is there. That is a definite nude I like. That's definitely a me nude. Then I found the two new L'Oreal pink. They did the nudes, then they did some of the reds, and now they're into the pinks. So I found the pink ones. I don't know if there was a JLo red one. If there is, I might have to look at that one because I've been collecting all the JLo ones for sure. I have the JLo nude. Um, I have the Jillian, Jillian Moore nude. It's, I think I want to get the Ava one or something nude. Um, but in mine, they were all broken up. Anyway, uh, right now I have Jennifer, the JLo pink. I have her pink, 705. Jennifer's pink. That's her pink. It almost looks like a I don't know plummy pink like beautiful hot magenta pink maybe that's what I have on my lips today the other one I did get was Ava's pink I might get another one or two I'm not sure right there it is And then I did pick up one of the um, Katy Perry, which now I got color on me, the Katy Perry CoverGirl lipsticks. They had them all 
and they're not limited edition. Somebody was saying at first they were limited edition. They're not limited edition as far as I know um, that I can find. But this is Kitty Kitty Purry. That's the name of the shade. It's Kitty Purry. Really, really, really love this shade. This is total me. It's almost like a purple shade in the purple family, like mom, maybe mom shade, that mom shade that everybody loves. This is totally me. And they're supposed to be matte, but they don't feel, they don't feel dry matte. They're very nice. Last two things, and if you spotted this long, bless your heart, QVC. And I think they were having, was it um, Easy Pay on all the beauty products? So the first palette I got, which is the limited edition, the uh, tar Tardiest Blush palette, which is nice because you do get um, their blush brush. I love their blush brush. This is a really nice one. It has that... Um, bamboo you know because it's made out of the bamboo and just feels so nice i love these brushes packaging is super cute um but they always have cute uh, packaging and i love tarts blushes i really do i missed out on the limited edition around christmas time and there's the blushes there but oh my goodness they're beautiful this one has a shimmer to it the other ones are more matte, of a matte shade. So the one I have on right now, like like I said, this one here, Dream. There's Dream. Love. There's Love. Laugh. Yeah, that's what it is. Laugh, and it's the shimmery kind of one. Oh, is that pretty? Ooh, ooh. Ooh -wee. And then the last one, Live, which is that really bright peach shade. It's like a pretty bright peach. So there they are there. Very pigmented. There they are. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I, I love their blushes, so I'm super happy I did get it. And lastly, super excited to get this. I've been wanting to get it for quite some time now, and I kept putting it off and putting it off. And let me just say, pictures do not do this palette justice. Pictures do not do this palette justice. This is Mally's Ageless Eyes Eyeshadow Palette, number, is it five or whatever that would be? Um, oh my goodness this is even bigger than what i thought it was gonna be the only thing that shade way down there you see it got nicked when it came in the mail there was a chunk taken out i was so disappointed in that that's the only thing that i had to complain this camera is not even doing this beautiful palette justice seeing it in person is totally yeah now i'm not going to swatch them all it is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Some of the colors. I have Tawny. This color here, Tawny. As in like the transition shade I did. I, oh, I used cream all over my whole eyelid and all over on my eye. And then I used Tawny. And then I used Chestnut, which is right down here. Chestnut. Um, that's the darker color you see right there. And then on my eyelids, I used uh, Terra Rosa. That Terra Rosa shade. So now the Blue Violet. That is Blue Violet. Caught my eye. <sighs> okay, so I am going to swatch that Blue Violet because I haven't even done that. Oh, it's kind of a little... I thought maybe, let's see, swatching it. It's a little, a little patchy. Okay. A little patchy there. Sunset, which is this shade right here. You know me and peachy, whatever shades. I did swatch that. Oh, that is simply gorgeous. Let's do sand. Ooh, sand feels really nice. There's sand.
Now these you could do wet or dry. There's sand. So you get the brush, double-ended brush. Um, one's more like a flat to put on for your eyelid. This one's a little more to probably go in the crease, I guess. Um, $32, I think, is what this was, too, if I'm not mistaken. It has magnetic closure and everything. Great price. Um, she does have one in Alta, but it's the nudes. It's different. It's something with the nudes. I forget. Um, I want to... I, I think I will probably get it regardless if I don't see it in person. Um, it does have a couple shades in there that are the same in here. I forget how many. There's like two or three maybe that are the same in here, but I don't care. I, it doesn't matter to me. I collect all our palettes anyway and big fan, lover, lover eyeshadows and everything, but I cannot wait to get to playing with a lot of these other ones and some of them wet. So if you survived all that, I really appreciate it. Um, I knew this was going to be a super long video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for joining me and it means so much. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would be so happy and bring a big smile to my face. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can come and join me each week. Just go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care. I will see you then. Love y'all. Bye-bye.